Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Shark Rotator Professional Liftaway. The vacuum is 45.7 inches tall by 13.4 inches wide and 12.2 inches deep. The unit weighs 15.5 pounds. The cleaning path is 9.5 inches. The cord length is 30 feet and wraps around this upper and lower hook. It is not retractable. Included are three filters. The foam and felt filter should be rinsed with water every three months. You can regularly tap the foam filter to get dust off. The HEPA filter should be rinsed with water once a year. Don't use soap when cleaning. There are also attachments that come with this unit. The crevice tool, dusting brush, premium pet power brush, straight suction nozzle, and wide upholstery tool. An instruction manual as well as a caddy to hold the canister are included. The power button is clearly marked here. All the parts click into place and there are big red buttons which make it easy to figure out where all the parts go. It's well thought out. Press the buttons with the unlock picture to release any parts. If you want to clean carpet, turn on the brush roll. If you're cleaning bare floors, leave the brush roll off. Suction can be adjusted by turning this collar clockwise for maximum suction and counterclockwise for minimum suction. Press the lift away button to remove the canister so you can carry it while cleaning steps and other areas. It weighs 8.4 pounds. You can put it on the caddy with wheels if you want to move it around that way. The brush roll light will be solid green when you've turned the brush roll on and red if there's a jam. There's no light when you've turned the brush roll off. The motorized floor nozzle has LED headlights. To assemble, put the pod onto the floor nozzle. The wand goes into the base, handle goes in, and hose goes into the base. For the accessories, match up red to red. The crevice tool goes here and the dust brush goes on the other side. Other accessories can be attached to the caddy for storage. If you want to clean with the handle, Press the handle release, put the wand on. If you want to use the crevice tool, put the wand in it and pull back. You can attach accessories to the wand or directly to the handle. This vacuum can be used on carpets and bare floors. Let's test out the shark. I'm using the pet power brush on a cat tree. You can see the cat hair on the brush. There is some cat hair left on the cat tree. I'll try the regular dust brush. It's good for small spots. Now there's no hair left. This is Gorilla Munch cereal. They're balls. The brush roll is off and I'll try vacuuming these up. Since they seem to be too big for the floor nozzle, we'll use the wand to suck them up. That worked well. Here's some flour that I'll try to vacuum up. That definitely didn't work. I'll try the crevice tool, the wand, Here's my lightweight Hoover links. And that worked really well. 
Let's try out the straight suction nozzle. That seems to work well on flour. You can choose bare floor or carpet with this attachment. Crumbled up goldfish crackers. Straight suction nozzle worked well. The floor nozzle did a decent job as well. The super fine crumbs were not picked up. Cat hair. Dry leaves with the brush roll off. The bigger leaves are left behind. I'll turn the brush roll on. That worked well. My hair with the brush roll on. Sucked it right up. Granola on hardwood floors. Everything was picked up. Steps with the wide upholstery tool. The canister was not too heavy to hold, but it's not lightweight either. A really good job of cleaning the steps. It sucked up all the hair and small particles. Dry leaves on the carpet with the brush roll on. All the leaves are gone. Pet hair. That's all gone. Granola. All sucked up. The transition from carpet to hardwood floors is not great and the vacuum did miss some crumbs on the hardwood floor. The unit swivels so you can maneuver it around furniture. On the floor nozzle, use a coin and turn the screws to unlock, pull up and clean. Cutting away hair with scissors is probably the most annoying part of a vacuum cleaner. The dust cup looks large, but the filter takes up some space here. I have very little carpet and mostly hardwood floors, and the dust cup is already a third full. If you have a house full of carpet, you may have to empty the canister more often. The vacuum has a lot of suction power and seems to get deep into the carpet to get all the dirt. So that also contributes to more dirt in the canister. Pull up on the release latch and the dust cup comes off. Press the release latch over your garbage can. Press the latch on top and you can clean the dust screen when you need to. If you want to vacuum your computer area or crevices inside your car, there's a micro attachment kit that you can purchase separately. I've put a link to that as well as this vacuum cleaner in the description below. Now there are many models of this rotator lift away as you can see here. The power is pretty much the same, but the difference is in the weight of the unit and the accessories included. So you can figure out which model is best for your needs. Overall, I think this shark rotator is great for carpet. With the attachment, it's good on hardwood floors. Don't expect it to be lightweight and glide across hardwood floors like stick vacuums. The noise level is average. Of course, when you turn the brush roll on, it's much louder than with the brush roll off. I would give the Shark a try since it is powerful and gets deep into carpet. As always, I hope you found this review useful. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.